Alrighty, you guys. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Golden Adventure. It's been a great, blessed, and amazing Sunday today. We're alive and well. I'm feeling a lot better. If you guys saw my video, I'm gonna. I did an update video yesterday that I haven't posted yet. So I'm gonna post it for you guys to see this. You guys see the update video, but like, why are you talking about it? Like, well, the stuff I was talking about that I like, upload today was I filmed from yesterday. So, yeah, so. Stay tuned for that update. I feel a lot better. I'm coping. I'm coping. I'm getting. I'm feeling stronger now. Today I feel great. Today I feel alive and well. Today, you know, after when I got the news Friday night at ten, around ten something at night. Bad time to get news, but you know you gotta stay strong for that. So people, everybody, all y'all, all y'all out there, please be safe. I recommend it. I think. There's like, I think there's a fourth state now. I know we're on lockdown. California's on lockdown. That's us. New York. I think it might be Virginia, Arkansas. And then now Florida's on lockdown. So it's four states already on lockdown. So please be safe out there. If you, if you don't need to go outside your house, I highly recommend you not doing that unless it's really important. But anyways, let's get to, the, let's get to some news here. Football news, Minnesota Vikings news. I guess we're rebuilding the team. We're going, I guess, from ground one up to whatever. We're getting rid of a lot of big stars. Everson Griffin is now gone, right? Everson Griffin's gone. We're losing J. Ron, J. Ron, J. Ron Curse. Anthony Harris, he might go. Or did he already go? He might go, already went. Um, Mackenzie Alexander gone. Carson Griffin gone, uh, Klein gone, which is, people are just shocked about, but, you know, I guess we're at the rebuild, we lost Diggs to the Bills, yeah, we re-signed CJ Ham. I thought he's a great fullback, great re-sign, okay, Kirk Cousins, two-year extension, I don't know about that one, but I digress, as a Vikings fan, I digress, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not happy about it. Some people are like, cool, yes. And some of you fans like myself are just furious about it. But if we blow so hard this season coming up, I think they're probably going to fire. I hope not. I think Zimmer's a great coach. But fire Zimmer. And they're probably going to get rid of Cousins and maybe get rid of Rick Spillman. I don't know. If we're rebuilding this team, hope we get some good draft picks, some good draft picks this year. If we're going to go, let's say, say, i I like Antoine Win Winfield Jr. I think he's a great pickup. I know he's a local guy. You know they want to always go for local guys, Minnesota native. You know local guy went to went to Minnesota University Gophers, whatever. I think he's a great pick, but he comes with some injuries, some hurts. You know, just like Tua. You know, as soon as Tua, he has a lot of injuries on him. So I'm surprised. I didn't see Trayvon Diggs do the combine this year, but I think he would be a great. Great pick up at the corner, cornerback with Hughes. If not, since we got rid of Diggs, let's, get, let's, let's, let's sign one more dig. Let's get his brother. If not, let's go with CJ Anderson. I think he's a great pickup as well as, as a cornerback. Um, and if Devin Cook goes, maybe we can sign somebody in the NFL that to let go of a running back, or we can draft somebody in the running back as running backs out there. Um, you know, so we'll see. You know, Andre Swift would be a great running back. If we get if we get rid of Dalvin Cook, I think yeah, we have we have um Alexander Madison. And we have our fullback. Um no, no, I'm sorry, sorry about that, and our fullback CJ Ham. Great. But if we get rid of Dalvin Cook, we should find somebody, you know, our listeners gonna stick with that we need somebody else and maybe go like DeAndre Swift. You know, something like that, something big like that, maybe. We'll see. Since we're sticking with Cousins and we re-signed Sean Mannion, I, I want to know if we're going to get a quarterback and let go of Jake Browning or keep Jake Browning on part of the squad or maybe come in as third string, whatever. I don't know what we're going to do. But we're at this rebuilding process now, which if you're just a shot, we're just basically rebuilding. Like, we're getting rid of so many people that are big stars on our team that could at least go for one more year or two, whatever. Yeah, we still got Anthony Barr and Kendricks and all that cool, great.
great. Some people don't like Barr. I think Barr and Kendricks, you know, the greatest duo in UCLA and the greatest duo with the Vikings, I think. That's my opinion. You know, I think Josh Kelly will be a great pickup in the draft. Joshua Kelly, I think it's safety, right? Safety, yeah, of course. Joshua Kelly. And since, yeah, we'll probably go BZ Johnson. And then we have um, Adam Thielen. And we have, you know, what well, now? I can't think of his name. Chad BB. I guess we have some great receivers, but if we're going to get somebody in the draft, you know, we'll go to the high pick, maybe go CD Lamb. That would be a nice pickup. Or maybe go like a Henry Ruggs or something, you know. There's a lot of great, uh, I think their receiving course is pretty good, pretty stacked. But I think maybe since the Eagles got rid of bad, bad Nelson, Agu Nelson Aguilar, they went into the Raiders, obviously. Uh, they might go to CD Lab or Henry Ruggs. I think they might go to CD Lab. They want to get a wide receiver for CD Lab. They lost, they lost Jordan Howard. You know, they, they've been losing some, some, some key, key big stars, you know. But it's, it's craziness out there. So we're just in a rebuilding process. You know, I just, they just know what we're gonna do. We'll, we'll see what happens in the draft. Yeah, we're getting all those great picks. Let's hope we draft smart and well this year, you know. We need some big assets. We lost clients. We need, you know, we lost some of these big key players that we can maybe use. I know Fadi, Fadi Denebo is getting his time to shine now. He got a couple couple good reps and snaps in this season that we just had. But now next season, he's going to take over. He's going to be the man at show, Fadi Denebo. Now he's going to be a star in Minnesota in the defense. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, we still got Bradbury all in because Bradbury's new, obviously. You know, we have Brian O'Neill, whatever have you. Are we instead of rebuilding? We should rebuild our O line, make it stronger. You know, have Kirk Cousins have a good O line so we can guard, and we can just get the passes off and just be smooth this year. I want us to go to Tampa Bay this year and win the Super Bowl. If not, then screw it. Have us go to Los Angeles the year after. Because I've seen in Florida this year, because it was in Miami, right? Miami this year was in Miami. Next year is in Tampa Bay, and the year after that is in Los Angeles. And with the NFL draft canceled in Las Vegas, not canceled at all, the, uh, they're going to have the draft, but not in Las Vegas. Does that mean next year will be in Las Vegas? Or they're going to switch the location now? L let me know. They haven't really said anything about it. Hope if they do, hope they have it in LA. I'd like to see the draft in LA because I live close to LA. That may like two hours from where I live. I'd like to go down there for the draft. That'd be fun because it is free, I guess. I know the draft free, but if you want like the front row experience and like your whole team experience, you have to pay a little extra for that. But it's free. You can walk around, whatever. It's cool. The like, NFL experience for Super Bowls are not free. You have to buy tickets. I went to that. The one in Minnesota, it was a great time. You can take a picture with the Lombardi Trophy, with the Champions Trophy, the AAC and Anderson Trophies. There you can see all the rings they have from all the years of all the teams. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, we'll see. But we're at a rebuilding stage, and I just can't, uh, I want to see what's going to happen. We're literally a month away, April. You know, next month, we're like a couple weeks away. Yeah, we signed Michael Pierce, whatever, great pickup. He's either a freaking beast or monster. He's a, he's a bulldozer. He's a trucker. He's going to kill it. Great. I'm, I'm happy about that. That's one big signee we had. First row resigns. Or franchise tags are tendered. But this one was a big pickup. I like it. Cool. Now, we got to worry about other stuff. You know. What's going to happen in the draft? I hope we draft smartly this year and only get better.
So, anyways, we'll see what happens this year in the draft. We got that smart, we got that draft big. I'm liking all our chances this year in the draft. I'm liking all our chances this year in the season. If our O-line can, you know, can help out Cousins and, and also we keep uh, Dalvin Cook. You know, Dalvin Cook are running back if we get a Cook. I hope we get to keep Cook. If we get rid of Cook, I don't know about that, but hope we're saying if not, instead we can get another, we can get like Andre Swift. We do have Alexander Madison. We do have CJ Ham. We'll see. But if we hope we can keep him on our team, but we can go from there. But if if he stays, I wanted to be healthy like it was this season. Yeah, he might have to get like a little injury, but he still came up and fought back. He had a great year this year. I hope if we resign him or keep him, he can even just have another great year next year. So if he stays healthy, we have a good O line, great receiving core, and our defense can stay on the par. I think we're gonna be a team to, re to, to force to be reckoned with this year. I think we're gonna, we just gotta get all the ducks lined up in a row and everything will come into play. So I'm excited to see what we get in the draft, if it's big. I hope we don't waste draft picks. And yeah, we got Dan Bailey back, cool. We have, you know, probably back with a long snapper is great. I just hope we don't waste picks and draft stupidly. I wanna think, when Rick Spillman, Zimmer, everybody in there, just think smartly in these picks. Because we waste picks, I'm not going to be happy with. You know, I don't waste picks and get some, like, low grade. I want to, you know, draft high, get somebody big. If we're rebuilding, we've got to rebuild strong. If we're going to build, let's not rebuild low. and start, you know, let's start from the top to bottom. This is the bottom top, whatever, top to bottom. Let's start from the top. Let's draft big. Then work our way down, maybe. We can... Go low and then draft this guy and see if we can work with not put him on the practice squad, whatever have you. Tick tock. Tick tock. Wow, oh, this too. Chef Haskin. Huh, that's funny. Oh, that's some little kid wrote chalk during this quarantine times. You no know, barbecue smells good. I mean, we just got a barbecue. Quarantine and chill. So this is another. I'm going to start the new series. I've been talking about it. I might do a quarantine and chill series. I did my update on it yesterday. I told you guys I'm going to upload that. And we'll just keep on going. So anyways. I'll keep you all posted. And what's going on with all this stuff going on in the NFL. And if we re-sign some people from the NFL, like actual teams, cool. Or not re-sign, but pick up some other teams, cool. We got Pierce, that's one. We'll see. Let's bring this, just, just, just go with the draft. And I think it's a strong draft class this year, I really do. With all the great players they have from all the positions, I think it's a really great draft, strong draft class. And the way they run their 40s and everything is it's pretty huge, so. You know, we'll see what happens. Keep our hopes up. If we're gonna rebuild, let's rebuild strong. Let's not let's not rebuild small. Let's work our way up to the top and rebuild strong. And I think we're gonna have a great hell of a season, Minnesota Vikings fans. Let's go. Thank you guys for watching and keep my spirits up. Just to, just whatever we do, don't watch the news. Watch it. If you're gonna watch it, watch for like a good 10, not even a half an hour. I'll just drain your my like maybe 10 to 20 minutes, 15 at the most. And then stop watching because it's really send a message of your, your mind and your and your brain and everything and you just won't focus and then you're in your head about this whole COVID-19 corona stuff and it's all in your brain and you can't focus or you can't do nothing because of it so of course it's Trump 2020 flag in this people's house but I'm not here for the politics but anyways don't get that right into your mind, okay? I'm going to think positive from here on out now. Uh, it's only get better from here. So we love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, joining, subscribing to my channel. I think we're at 155 subscribers now. That's pretty huge. I know I started uh, years and years and years ago on my channel. And I started out low, you know, 
You have to build a good following. I know it's been a couple years now. I should be like, you should be at 1,000 now. Your videos are great. Whatever. Or I should be at 200, 300, whatever. But I'm not. I, and I don't, don't really care now. I do this for the love and for the fun of doing this stuff. It's all for fun. I have my real job that I go out there, but I don't have my job left because I'm laid off temporarily. But I, I, don't, I don't make money on these videos at all. Zero. And nor will I want to. I'm just doing some fun. Make content. If I get to 1,000 subscribers and they start paying me or whatever, cool. But at the, at the end of the day, I'm not in this YouTube thing for the money. I might have said it back in the day. When I know, when I, you know, use my brain as much and think very well, like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'm in it for the money. But now I'm a real job. I'm going to better myself to grow. But anyways, thank you guys for watching all my minutes. Advice, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share it. And don't forget Skull Vikings. I'll see y'all later. I'll keep you guys posted with more Vikings news and who we sign. And, and if we don't sign anybody or if we cut people, more people, and we're just trying to keep on just rebuilding strong. And then I'll let you guys know about that. If not, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks in April for the draft. And I'll keep y'all posted on who we sign and if it's a great pick. And, and we'll go from there, all right? So love you guys all. Talk to y'all later. Skull Vikings. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So please stay safe out there, everybody. Please, all right? Bye, y'all.